This video will cover several important ways to maintain your supercell for optimal long-term performance. Filter Pulse Bar Cleaning Be sure to pulse your filter regularly, at least multiple times per day, and at the end of every work session to maintain optimal performance and to prevent filter damage. Only use the filter pulse bar while your unit is running. Close the blast gate on the inlet of the cyclone. Push down the pulse bar and hold for a few seconds, then release. Repeat five times. Open the blast gate and resume normal operation. Cleaning and replacing the filter. If your supercell filter is blinded with dust, manually clean the filter by performing the following steps. Turn off and unplug the dust collector and wait for the fan blower to come to a complete stop. Unlatch the ring clamp and allow it to hang freely. Remove the motor section and set aside. Use a handheld compressed air nozzle with a pressure between 30 and 60 psi to blast air along the filter's exterior pleating. Hold the nozzle at a 20 degree angle at least 6 inches away from the filter. If the filter has tears or cracks, replace the filter by removing the four nylock nuts and the filter hold down ring. Dispose of the old filter. Center the new filter over the center of the cyclone. Place the filter hold down ring over the filter and re-secure using the four nylock nuts. Do not over tighten. Replace the motor section and re-latch the drum clamp around the motor section. Emptying the drum. Be sure to empty the drum before it overfills, otherwise you risk blinding the filter with dust. When your supercell's waste bin is full, turn off the dust collector and wait for the fan blower to come to a complete stop. Unlatch the drum from the cyclone body. Dispose of waste safely and properly. Replacement bags should be 22 inches by 22 inches and at least 1.5 mils thick. Replacing the motors. If one of your supercell motors has reached the end of its life, replace all three motors by following these steps. Turn off and unplug the supercell. Wait for the fan blowers to come to a complete stop. Remove the filter foam and nylock nut from the top of the cowling using a one half inch socket wrench. Remove the cowling and set aside. Remove the plenum plate and set aside. Cut and remove any zip ties securing the wires together. Using a 1 half inch socket wrench, remove the five nylock nuts around the perimeter of the motor hold down plate. Lift up the tabs on the two lever nuts and remove all of the motor wires. Remove the motor hold down plate. Remove and set aside the original motors. Place the new motors onto the assembly. Lower the motor hold down plate back into position, making sure it is in the correct orientation. Each motor features tabs that should align with the notches on the hold down plate. Rewire the motors. All black motor wires must go to one lever nut and all red motor wires must go to the other. The position of the wires within each lever nut is unimportant. Resecure using zip ties provided. Resecure the motor hold down plate using the five nylock nuts. Do not over tighten. Reinstall the plenum plate. Reinstall the molded cowling. Secure the cowling using the nylock nut and one half inch socket wrench. Clean and install the filter foam on top of the molded cowling. <laughs> 